Hi, so now we've added our we've added our download method code. So now we can download a file, and we've learned how can we handle browse button and if we, can we handle the file size. So now we need to handle the download function or the method. We need to add a message box if this data is not valid, and we need to try accept the download. Maybe the download failed or something. So we need to show the user a message. So first of all. We need to check that the download URL and the save location is valid. So I'm gonna say if download URL equal to empty, yeah, like this, and or we're gonna say or yeah, or save location equal to empty. So if any one of those that the downloaded URL or the save location is empty. We need to show a message to the user. So we're gonna say Q message box dot warning and this warning will take the self and will take a message. So we're gonna say download or let's see me let's type data error because there is no data and we need to give it a message. So we're gonna say provide a valid URL or save location yeah just like this and let's add else so we're gonna say else else we need we will download the file so let's add this to the else indentation so let's run a wrap so now if we press download and the URL or the browse is not valid we will get a message so let's press download so we're getting a message provide a valid URL or save location. This is awesome. So now we've added a way to handle the image data for download and save location. We need also to handle the URL request. Maybe the URL is not valid. So if the URL is not valid, this condition will equal uh, false. So the code will execute the URL. So we need to handle this your lab that requests that you are retrieve. So we need to handle only this. So we're gonna use try catch. So first of all, I'm gonna try try this. And if you get an error, we will get this error and our accept method. So we're gonna say accept. And for this accept, we're gonna add exception. Sorry. Yeah. And we're gonna say, let's say the exception, let's add a message box. The same message box here. And we're gonna change the information about this message box. So we're gonna say download error, not by the error. Download error. Provide a valid URL or receive location. Okay, and after this exception, we need to return. Yeah, just like this. So now let's run our app and let's add any dumb data. So I'm gonna take this copy. I'm gonna add this. And for this, so let's delete some of this URL like this. And for the save location, I'm gonna go to the desktop. I'm gonna add one dot dmg. So now this URL is not valid, and we should see this message. Let's see this message. Download error provide a valid URL of save location. So let's press download and we're gonna get provide a valid URL or a save location because this URL is not valid. So this is awesome. So now we've added a message box of the URL for the save location is empty and we've handled the download using URL lib using try except. So what if this if what if we have a valid URL or a save location? So we need to show the user a message when the download is complete. So here I'm gonna add a queue message box. I'm gonna say queue message box dot information. So because this is an information, not a warning, and we're gonna add so and we're gonna add download so completed and let's add information. So we're gonna say is a download completed successful yeah like this 
so let's run our app so let's add our dummy data let's browse the desktop I'm gonna type sub.dmg yeah and let's hit save and let's start downloading so as we can see our file is being downloaded so we have sub.dmg in the, in, the, in the desktop and the file is being downloaded so let's wait until the download is finished So now we've got a message that the download completed successfully. So if we press OK, as we can see the progress bar value is 100%. The, the URL still have data and the save location still have data. And this file, if we double click on this file, we can see that the file is completed and we can already install it. Yeah, this is sublime actually. Okay, so we need to clean the data for those two Sublight edit values, and we need to set the progress bar to zero. So, for our index, I'm gonna write self dot line edit dot text dot set text, sorry, to empty, and I'm gonna do the same with the line edit too. We're gonna say self dot line edit to dot set text equal to empty, and we need to add or give the progress bar an empty value. So we're gonna say self the progress bar dot save value equal to zero, just like this. And we need to run our app again. So let's run our app. And let's add some dummy data. Let's cover this. Let's save it with the desktop. And I'm gonna save this file with sublime editor.bmg. So I'm gonna hit save and I'm gonna hit download. So as we can see, we're gonna have a new file here, sublime editor.bmg, and the download is working fine. So let's stop the video until the download is completed. So now after the file is downloaded, as we can see we have this message, this download completed successfully and if we press OK, we can see the line here is empty, the browse location or the save location is empty, the progress bar value is set to there. So now everything is working fine, now we can download files, any kind of files using this download method and this handle browse method. and the handle progress to handle the progress port. So don't worry first We can add the threading at the end of this course to fix the crashing or the not responding issue and We're gonna add also some features like when we copy a link and when we press on this line edit the link or based in here and We gonna also grab the file name when we try to add this save location yeah, so we can have only to add the save location and the app will add the file name automatically and we're gonna change also the app UI add we will add themes and we will add a side menu and so on so don't worry but in the next lecture we're gonna move to downloading from YouTube so we need to enable the user to download a file from YouTube and also download the full playlist from YouTube so don't worry, we're gonna do all of this in the next lectures. See you in the next lecture.